Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another preview. Of course, wearing the brand new shirt as well. We're wearing this one tomorrow at the game. St. Etienne, visit Teesside. Come to the Riverside Stadium tomorrow. 3 p.m. kickoff. Bit weird it's on a Sunday and not a Saturday, but listen, you tell me we take it, we take it. Um, how to feel out the game? Well, of course, it is a friendly. And they've got a few decent players that used to play inside the Premier League. Um, you know what I mean? A few years back, so. Yeah, I mean, listen, I'm looking forward to seeing some players from abroad. I'm looking forward to seeing some new talent at Riverside Stadium. And overall, I'm looking forward to getting back inside the place that we all love, the Riverside Stadium. It feels like it's been far, far, far too long. And then tomorrow we get to go back in there. And to be fair, it's only cheap to get a ticket as well. Like, I think it's like £10 adults, £5 kids. It might even be like £2 kids. So, anybody think might go on the game, get yourself there. Do you know what I mean? £10 a ticket. If anyone can afford it out there, do you know I mean? Take your 10 quid. Pay for a ticket, and uh, it's, it's overall, mate, just get yourself into the game tomorrow. I've just called you, mate, and I don't know why, but yeah, listen, that's what's happening now. St Etienne, I'm a little bit worried now about St Etienne, who, of course, play the French League, the League Earn, as they call it. Uh, the manager's got a weird name, man. It's like Gisseline Gis 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 Printant. If I've got that right, then I'll be buzzing, but yeah, somewhere on there is his name. They finished fourth last year, so actually qualified for the uh, Europa League this season. So yeah, I mean this season they'll be taking on the likes of Arsenal and whatnot. But yeah, Europa League, Europa, Europa League team, to Riverside Stadium, of course, we're championship. So I think it's going to be a tough test for our boys. But overall, it should be a good test. Do you know what I mean? A little bit more fitness in there, a few more minutes in some of the lads as well. And do you know what I mean? we're coming to this off the back of a Salford win, three-one. And hopefully everyone's feeling positive. I mean, listen, uh, all the way for the pre-season, I've got all the sort of fixtures down here. And only losing two of our whole pre-season, which I think decent. Tell me, it is decent. Um, if we go through now, we beat Gateshead three-one away, Salford away three-one. Uh, got beat by Graz today again, our first ever pre-season game, the new season two-nil. Beat Hartlepool four-nil. Beat Bishop Auckland seven-one. Of course, we got beat by that German team of Heidenham five-one. But when you look at it, you think, you know, only two defeats, and all the others are pretty convincing. Tell me, three-one, three-one, four-nil, seven-one. You could argue and say that some of them teams aren't that great, but do you know what I mean? Listen, you can only beat the team that's in front of you inside this preseason. And overall, does the result really matter? Not really. This is it is nice to win a game. It is nice to win your preseason games. But all about fitness, confidence, morale, that kind of thing. And we'll get um, hopefully tomorrow. I'm hoping that he plays the team that's going to play against Luton. That's the team that I want to see play tomorrow. Okay, yeah, it might swap and change the team at half time with it being set at ten, with them being a bit of a sort of higher level club than Borough, but. At the same time, looking at it, thinking we are only, what, well, I would say less than a week away now from the start of the uh, first game of the season. And ideally, tomorrow I want to see him play, put, you know what I mean, play his team that he's going to play now. I try to make a sort of team um, out of the 11, and, and obviously in front of me now. Dan Randolph, is he leaving? Is he staying? We don't know. I mean, I've heard, he's, I've heard the guy, apparently he's got a calf injury. How true that is, we don't know. George Friend, never played against Salford, don't know where he is either. So, my start level got this. I think Pear should go in goal. Um, really good goal, keep you on for his age. I mean, listen, he's only a young lad, but he's coming on leaps and bounds for me. Pear should start between the sticks. The back four, it pretty much picked itself. Johnny Elson have to go right back. The two centre back pairing, Ayala and Ryan Shotton. I am praying Ryan Shotton has a better game than what he did at Gator when we beat them 3 1, and what he did against Salford when we beat them 3 1. Because against Salford, I thought he was a little bit poor. And me being a big, big, big fan of Ryan Shotton, I was a little bit disappointed in his performance. But again, do you know what I mean? These lads are all getting game time, all getting minutes back, all getting sort of fitness back. So I guess I guess it's alright. I guess it isn't too bad. Colson at left back. For me, Colson, oh wow. That guy is wicked. His pace, his defending, his dribbling. Everything about Colson for me is a left back. If George Friend goes on and retires in the next two, three seasons or whatever. Don't sell this guy, but I keep him because I'm telling you now, man, he's our future left back. He is absolutely wicked. On our right hand side, I have Marvin Johnson, who for me has stood out like a sore thumb in this preseason. He's been absolutely wicked. Do you know what I mean? He scored against Gated. Um, and overall, Marvin Johnson for me has been class. I think he's been a revelation on the wing. I'll be completely honest with you. Do you know what I mean? Last season, how many times have we crying out for a quick, pacey, technical dribbler? Winger, and now we have one. I believe in Marvin Johnson came in from Oxford a few seasons ago. And when Borough played Oxford inside the cup, this guy blitzed us, man. That's a program from the game stuff of my head there. He absolutely blitzed us for four. For me, Marvin Johnson, he's got to have a look. In. I'm praying Jonathan will get his point as part of his plans. Um, obviously, do you know what I mean? Starting from the next Friday at Luton away, Marvin Johnson for me, wicked, wicked, wicked player. Um, on the other side, I'd have Marcus Tavernier. 
if he doesn't get any game time, and if this guy moves on and he moves permanently away from Butter, I would be absolutely devastated. We all know how good Marcus Havanier is. He's absolute class, but yet again, he doesn't even start a game. Do you know what I mean? He always starts on the bench and comes on the last 15, 25 minutes. Start the guy running off. Tavernier is wicked. He is a class, class act, and you've got to play him. If you've got Tavernier and you've got Marvin Johnson, that's two fast technical dribblers on either side of your wing. You're laughing. Do you know what I mean? You will hurt a back line with them two inside your squad. Inside the middle, listen, there's loads of midfield. You can have a naked book there and Savile. You can have Wing and Clayton, and that's exactly what I've gone for. I've gone for Lewis Wing as a little bit of a sort of creator in the field there. And Adam Clayton, sort of like solidifies him in the field. He's, you know what I mean? He always plays that kind of sweeper role. Which, you know what I mean? If you look at St. Etienne's team, we kind of need one of them in there for tomorrow. So that's the two that I've got inside the midfield. And up front, I've gone for Ashley Fletcher and a man that got a hat trick against Salford City, Britt Assam Balonga. Now, my score prediction for this one, I think it'll be a tough game. Um, and overall, do you know what I mean? It'd be nice to win our last ever preseason game, especially at home. Um, listen, I like to go for a 2 1, but uh, I don't think it will be 2 1. I think it, I don't want to say that Butter will get beat, but I want to be honest and say I can see maybe it's being a draw, a 2 2, or even a 3 3 at the most. But yeah, I think I'll go for a 2 1, but it'd be nice to see us get a win. Do you know what I mean? Last preseason game, I know the results don't really mean anything. We're going to look at it next week. Ideally, to beat St. Etienne, who of course, you know what I mean, finished fourth inside their league last year. They are a top European side, in my opinion, as well. To get past them um, tomorrow, I just think, listen, I just think it's going to raise everyone's moods, the fans, the players, everyone, do you know what I mean? Everyone around the club will feel confident going into Luton. And like, like I say, man, overall, I'm looking forward to the game. If you are at the game, comment down below, tell me if you're going to go to it. And like I say, man, I will be in Butter Town Centre tomorrow from like 11 o'clock in the morning. So if you guys see me about and if you want to come on a match day vlog, please do just come over to me, shout me, or just, well, knowing people shout me and I say hello and then they walk off. And I just watch me vlogging. But if you genuinely want to be part of the vlog tomorrow, if you see me, just walk over to me, say hello, and just say, can I be part of the vlog? And all I do is just simply get your score prediction from you and ask you for your expectations of the new season. Check out all my social media, link inside the description. Have a good rest of your Saturday, people. And I'll see you soon. Up the butter.